The grant could look a little intimidating online, but we're here to tell you it's not as bad as it looks and there's some tools to help you get where you want to go. In particular, the Resource Conservation Districts across much of California are offering uh, workshops that you can come and find someone to help you write the grant. But if you're a do-it-yourself type, please watch this video and we'll walk you through it. So the first thing you need to do is to have your project in your head. The next thing you need to do is get a budget for what it's actually going to cost. And then you need to figure out if you're going to contribute any financial part to creating the project because that will count as cash match. Then you need to figure out if you have any in-kind match. In-kind match means something, for example, like you or your workers or your relatives are putting in sweat equity and that has a cash value that the RCD can help you determine. In-kind can be uh, equipment that you already have or it can be partnerships with NRCS or RCD where they're participating in the project. The applicant must determine pump efficiency via a pump test. The pump test, maybe from previous growing seasons, provided no modifications have been made to the pump subsequent to testing the equipment. Growers can contact a local pump specialist or irrigation specialist to conduct the test and provide required documentation. In addition, the applicant must submit baseline energy documentation from the prior growing season. Applicants are required to attach actual on-farm energy use records covering at least 12 months of peak pump energy use for the prior irrigation and growing season. Once you've got all that in hand, you're ready to start. When you start the sweep grant, there are seven main steps. Step one, go online to the California Department of Food and Agriculture website and look at the State Water Efficiency and Enhancement Program. Click on the Request for Grant Applications. Read the grant. Step two, go back to the CDFA sweep page. Click on Click Here to Apply. Create a profile using a simple name and password and write the name and password on a note and store it in a prominent place. Step three, Determine eligible projects and budget. In terms of eligible projects, the California Department of Food and Agriculture is looking for some specific elements to meet irrigation water management standards. So, in order to acquire sweep funding, your irrigation energy upgrade project has to include one or more of the following. A soil moisture meter, evapotranspiration measurement, a flow meter. You may need to consult with an irrigation specialist or you can sketch it out yourself. To learn more about specific on-farm water use efficiency and energy efficiency opportunities, watch our other video with Kevin Greer, who runs the Mobile Irrigation Lab at the Tehama County Resource Conservation District. Focusing on the budget, the maximum you can ask for is $100,000. However, the project can be more if you have additional funding sources. If you can get a written quote from a vendor, this is not required, but it will help make your grant more likely to win. So when you're filling out the grant and they say supplies, they mean items purchased for the project that cost less than $5,000 per unit. When they say equipment, that means items purchased for the project implementation that cost more than $5,000 per unit. Step four, gather your baseline water use, energy use, pump tests, and specifications. Step five, complete and attach the sweep irrigation water savings assessment tool. By tool, they do not mean wrench or spigot. The tool is an Excel document that you download. At first, it looks a bit intimidating, but when you drop on the data points they request, the answers pop up instantly. Step six, complete the Air Resources Board Greenhouse Gas Calculator tool. Again, while this sounds and maybe looks like a PhD project, I promise it's not that bad. This is another downloadable Excel document. To use the GHG baseline usage, go down to the bottom of this page to the link, or if you're on the sweep page, look on the right-hand side of the page and click on GHG Calculator Tool. When you input the requested data points, the program gives you the greenhouse gas information you need, and actually it's pretty cool to find out what's going on. So when it says on your grant documentation, this is created by using the GHG calculator tool. When it says pump efficiency test, this is also a part of the GHG calculator tool. Step seven, complete and submit the application on time, actually well before the five o'clock p.m. deadline. Before you do hit send, provide all responses to all of the application questions. Make sure that you've included all the required attachments. This will include seven things, the project design, the budget worksheet, the sweep irrigation water savings assessment tool completed, 
the ARB greenhouse gas calculator tool completed, the GHG baseline usage documentation, the PUP efficiency test, and if you have any matching funds, include documentation. This is not required to win the grant, but it does help jump you to the front of the pile. Thank you so much, and we hope that you win. This money is here to make it possible for our agricultural community to save water and save energy.